Surgical scarring after mastectomy and breast reconstruction. Any surgery for breast cancer, including mastectomy and reconstruction, will necessarily result in some type of scarring. The scarring that results from mastectomy can vary according to the type of mastectomy performed. For example, if the nipple is preserved in a procedure called nipple sparing mastectomy, the scar may be nicely hidden underneath the breast. However, if the nipple will be removed, like in the more common skin sparing mastectomy, the scar may be around the outside of the areola and across, down, or underneath the breast. If the patient elects to have autologous tissue reconstruction or the use of their own body tissue to reconstruct the new breast, they will also have scarring at the site from which the tissue is taken, known as the donor site. In most patients, scars fade with time and at about a year and a half after surgery, they may have faded to the point where they are almost not noticeable. Scars will be noticeable if they are associated with any contour deformity of the breast or the donor site. Therefore, contour issues related to scarring should be addressed surgically. There are steps patients can take in order to improve the final outcome of surgical scarring. It is important that scars are never exposed to any sun and therefore should always be covered with sunscreen or clothing when the patient is outside. Also, the use of moisturizing agents like petroleum jelly or aquaphor can be very helpful in managing scars and improving their appearance. Other more expensive scar treatments like silicone strips and mederma are equally effective. Scarring is an unfortunate necessity with surgical procedures, but when managed properly and in most patients, they tend to be inconsequential in the long run and do not negatively affect overall outcomes.